And what do you do for a living? I actually run an airline here in Malta. I work in iGaming. I am a game presenter in... I am a lawyer in Brazil. Uh, I'm working iGaming here. Being in your position, how much can we make per year? 15k. 40, 45 a year. How do you invest your money? I don't. <laughs> I just save up for myself mostly. Saving for what? Eh, bad times. <laughs> but why you save your money for bad times, not for good times? I have ETFs, I have stocks, little bit of crypto, not a lot. What do you think, like finding a job, which one is easier, from Brazil or in Malta? In Malta, sure. I think here more easy. Why do you think that investing in a property is a wise decision? Well, I, I know everybody's entitled to their own opinions, but mm -hmm. I, I think real estate, if done right, is still one of the most solid pieces of investment you can do. People from Brazil, if they want to come to Malta to live longer term here, what advice you would give to them to now? Come here because here is like paradise. Yeah guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to interview expats who live in Malta, asking them do they invest their money for property or no, or generally how they invest their money. Also finding a job opportunities, is it easier in their own country or in Malta and what is the reason they are coming to Malta. Also, don't forget, today's video sponsor is you, as always, and Valex Property. If you want to see what kind of properties I'm listing, check my TikTok account over here. I'm doing crazy videos for you. And this gentleman is also following me. <laughs> yeah, like you, you are following me. So let's go to interview people. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm going to help you to buy your first property in Malta. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Uh, my name is Elif, and I'm from Turkey. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm working I gaming here, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and I've been here like eight years. Yeah, yeah that's good. I have uh, two dogs. Ah, we have to mention this is one it. of them. Yes, <laughs> that's great. For let's say that being in your position, mm -hmm. doing what you do, how much we can bring per year? Uh, depends which position you are working on. There is, uh, I don't want to mention that. Give us some range. Uh, in my position, maybe. 40, 45 a year. Okay. And how do you invest your money? For my talks. I spend all of them. Really? Okay. Well, 55,000, how you are spending all? No, I'm not earning 50. But uh, there is another company. It's okay. like, you know, in my position, you can earn like between 40, 45, 50. Okay. And uh, at the moment, I don't invest anything. Mm -hmm. I'm just enjoying my life. What do you mean enjoying? In I'm what like sense? Traveling and spending time with my dogs, spending all my money to them, uh, competitions, mm -hmm. dog competitions. But uh, of course you can invest, but at the moment I don't. If you had a chance or maybe you are settling to invest, mm -hmm. where would you invest your money? <laughs> She's my friend. <laughs> Come and join us. <laughs> Drop off. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. What would be? Yes. Uh, of course, a flat. Apartment? Yes. yes or yes. house? Uh, house, no, but uh, apartment, yes. Okay. Um, why do you think that investing in a property is a wise decision? You shouldn't buy a c I have car, but you shouldn't invest your money for a car before you buying your house. You can buy something cheap, of course, but okay. not luxury car, you know? Mm -hmm. First, my opinion, first you have to buy your, you have to invest your money for the house. Why exactly you want to invest for property? No, this what? is not for me. I wouldn't. Ah, you wouldn't invest for yes, property? Yes, but okay. if you are living in Malta, uh -huh. you know, because the rents are going higher, higher, mm -hmm. higher every year. So okay. I think it would be good if you buy something like from South mm -hmm. and if you rent it, that's good investment. That's a good idea. And yeah. you are at the moment renting? Yes, oh, unfortunately. Right. Unfortunately? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the different approach. But when do you want to start for investing in a property? Is there any next plan or... We are talking about Malta. Anywhere. M Malta, you I want wouldn't. to invest? I wouldn't. No? I wouldn't. Why? Because, this, for example, let's talk about here. Mm -hmm. The same amount of money, you can buy much nicer houses in Europe. In Sicily, in Italy, Milano. I wouldn't uh, here, you know. You wouldn't consider for buying in Malta? No. 
Right. But uh, how did you find your current apartment? Through an agent or agent, by yourself? Yes, yes, from Facebook agent. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But why you didn't want to do it by yourself, rather you chose uh, for agent? At the moment I was abroad, uh -huh. so I need uh, my flat immediately. So I was checking f Facebook market and I found one guy uh, and I told him, listen, I need this, this, this. And he found me immediately because of my dogs. It's a bit hard to find flats. Mm -hmm. So he said, you, you don't have too many options. Mm -hmm. It's better you rent this. And I rent it. Do you know any friends who are foreigner like you mm -hmm. came here more than five years living and oh, yeah. they already bought a property? No. Do they think to buy or? No. No? No. Your old friends, foreign I, friends, they don't I want. Have yeah. many foreigner friends uh -huh. and they're not thinking to buy any flats from here. What I'm hearing from them, they come here for a short time to work and then they are living. So Malta is not like a long-term settlement? Uh, so if you have chance to go abroad more often, mm -hmm. like, you know, more than once a year, maybe it's mm -hmm. not enough for me. It's good and safety. But if you don't have chance to go abroad, it's uh, boring. Oh, I Especially me, I like to drive for long, you know, it's boring. But I have chance so I can travel. That's great. Yeah. And comparing job opportunities between Turkey and Malta, which one is easier to find? I think here more easy and Turkey in my opinion is more expensive than here rent and it's more expensive at the moment but I know some of these people also bought some mansions or apartments in Turkey as well I never heard that I don't know ah. I never heard that for people from Turkey if they want to come to Malta mm -hmm. to live longer term mm -hmm. what advice you would give to them to now in advance uh, I would like to say don't come here that don't think your life will be amazing and like nightclubs or oh, every girl running after you you know that's not working like this you have to work harder than your country and uh, you you have to work hard to survive here it's not easy hello your name age and where are you from I'm Mauro I'm 40 and I'm from Portugal I'm Ines I'm also 40 and also from Portugal what do you do for a living uh, I actually run an airline here in Malta. What's that? Uh, I'm in charge of an airline here in Malta called so, Wizz Air. Who is flying around Malta? You are controlling them? Uh, kind of, yeah. To, <laughs> in simple terms, yeah, let's say that. Big responsibility, yeah. Uh, how about you? Uh, at the moment, I'm a stay-at-home dog mom. <laughs> is it your decision, her to be a stay-at-home wife, or no? It's absolutely her decision. <laughs> it's it's my decision to run around the world looking for uh, uh -huh. exciting jobs, and mm -hmm. she chooses to be there for me to support me all the time. So it's well, uh, amazing. Are you open to share us being in a new position? How much can we bring per year? Not really. No, that's that's kind of confidential. Any range you can give us? No, not really. Sorry. Okay, then we have to ask from you. Being a housewife, how much you can bring <laughs> to the family? <laughs> she it, de a lot. Uh, it depends. Uh, are you saying like uh, money-wise or worth-wise? Worth-wise, it is I know priceless. Exactly. Yeah, Calculable. but financially. <laughs> financially, it depends. For example, from our previous country. I used to sell like a lot of secondhand clothes and sometimes that would bring like an okay income. Uh, from previous countries, same as well, some reselling uh, clothing and shoes. But uh, now we're here for just a month, so at the moment, zero. <laughs> she brings a lot to the table, a lot. <laughs> it, intangible, incalculable, <laughs> priceless. Uh, how do you invest your money? Uh, a bit of everything. I have ETFs, I have stocks, a little bit of crypto, not a lot. I, I do try to diversify as much as possible. Okay. Do you own a property in your own country or in Malta? Only in my own country. Okay. Yeah. And uh, regarding for buying a property in your country and my Malta, which one is easier? Oh, I, I don't have still uh, any notion of how it would yeah. work here in Malta. Uh -huh. I haven't even looked for it at all. I'm living in rental. Mm -hmm. I'm going to live in rental for a good while. So I don't, I don't yet know the, the local market to be able to answer that. When did you buy your first property in your country? Oh, just uh, maybe five years ago. Okay. So why did you decide for buying it? Because you are not living there, you are living abroad. It's long story, family, interests. Uh, it's going to be my retirement beach mm -hmm. house. So really good opportunity and I had to jump on it. At the moment you are renting it? No, I'm actually finishing uh, refurbishing it. Yeah. Hopefully next, next summer. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll split it between myself and, and rent it out. Yeah. Do you think that in today's economy, investing in a property is a wise decision? 
Absolutely. Well, I, I know everybody's entitled to their own opinions, but mm -hmm. I, I think real estate, if done right, is still one of mm -hmm. the most solid pieces of investment you can do. Especially if you consider Portugal at this moment. Yeah. Why? Is it a uh, booming industry yeah. right now? Yeah. yeah. And do you think, like, any reason behind that? Uh, well, I think the maybe a little bit of the whole world <laughs> discovered Portugal a couple of years ago. It's now, I think it's starting to get, like, a negative points and it's not so good among uh, amongst digital nomads yeah digital nomads no -mads, exactly i think the the highest point was like maybe like two years ago but there's a lot of people still still going there and still want to move there so if you have a property for to rent in portugal it's an awesome time now yeah mm -hmm. that's great and you also diversify your income for a little bit crypto or ETF and also a property. Which one is doing better? Well, that's a complicated story because I still have a lot of portfolio back in Brazil where, where I used to live. And Brazil gives you some very peculiar things that you cannot get here, especially in terms of private bonds mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So that's Brazilian stock market and, uh, and my bonds back there are maybe some of my interesting assets right now. Wow. That's great. And do you know any expats living here? They came and they are also thinking to leave long term mm -hmm. and they already bought their property here no i do know a lot of them uh, thinking of staying in long term but nobody that, that has done the jump into buying their own property yet so. and why uh, mostly because of uncertainty regarding exactly how long they plan to stay and the prices are not helpful that much so it would be an easier decision even if you don't think of staying here for more than four or five years if the prices were a bit uh, a bit more appealing but i do feel like the market is quite expensive here mm -hmm. especially in the good areas how long you have been married? 13 years. 13 years, yeah. that is such a long years in <laughs> today's comparison, if we say so. We're but together for 18, married for 13, but together for 18. Wow, that's great. And when did you know each other and also got married? What position you are working for? Oh, we were university students when we met. Okay. Both. Yeah. Women in a process. Well, I, what, what she used to say, I was a diamond in a rough. Uh -huh. <laughs> so uh, I yeah. think we, she I, saw the potential in me, I saw the potential in her. I working first because um, he, he actually did two master degrees. So I started working first. Then he started working, but he only worked for like four months in Portugal. And then he, he had like um, a job opportunity in Brazil. And then we just went, f we went for it. Right. Yeah. That's great. And finding a job and also f maybe like in your country and your country also comparing with Malta, which one is easier? Well, that's a, that's a difficult question, but I would say not, rather than finding jobs, I can tell you about finding qualified professionals. Mm -hmm. I have a tremendous hard time uh, finding qualified professionals here in certain areas, especially engineering, uh, airspace, mechanical engineering. That's something that I've been having a hard time finding here. Whereas in, uh, in, in Portugal, usually you do, uh, especially in engineering, you are able to be absorbed by the market quite easily. Uh, so I do feel a difference there. But uh, it, it also comes down to what sort of salaries are available. So the salaries available in Portugal right now are extremely not appealing for newcomers right out of the university. Whereas I do think here it's a bit, uh, it's a bit better. It feels a bit better. Again, very limited experience being here for not a long time. And at the end, people in their early 20s, what financial advice you would give to them? Oh, if I could tell, talk to my own self when I was 20, start saving immediately. Uh, don't spend all of your paychecks. Don't leave money in your stupid bank account just standing there. That's the stupidest thing you can do with your money is saving it just for the sake of having it in the bank account. Mm -hmm. Do something with it. Study a bit. There's a ton of information out there. Filter it out. Don't fall into any stupid YouTube channel that you find, but find out which are the good ones. There's a few really good ones out there. Talk to your friends, talk to your older friends, your parents, etc. Take advice, start saving, get that, uh, those 20% you need to start your, your, your real estate and buy your first apartment as soon as possible. Saving is losing? Saving is never, <laughs> never losing. Saving is never losing unless you just park it in your bank account doing nothing. That's stupid. That's not saving. That's uh, losing time. And from your opinion, any best piece of life advice you would deliver to our community? <laughs> that's a hard one well i speak for myself like um if you're married take it as you are a team and go through life and through especially because we lived in different countries 
So different societies, different uh, ways of living. If you work as a team, things will be so much better and so much easier for both of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Go ahead, your question. Yeah, yeah. One for each. Uh, for you, I don't know if you asked before, is uh, back in Portugal, can you have the same lifestyle as here with the same job or the wages are lower? Um, like a comparison in your country and here and the lifestyle what you can have the same with your salary or no well with the same salary I think you can get a similar lifestyle yes the problem is you cannot it high salaries in Portugal are extremely hard to find market dynamics very different let's say top executive positions occupied by the same people for many 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 long years so there's not that healthy rotation that allows uh, younger people to get these interesting jobs. So it's 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 harder to get a, uh, an exciting career uh, in, back in Portugal rather than embracing the expat life and just traveling and finding the opportunities where they are. Uh, question for her. You, and the other question for you is like uh, your friends. Um, do you think has the, the same mindset like to be in the process with your partner or they ah, have to stay with got it. All right. uh, from your experience yeah. from your surroundings and women want to be in a process or finding an end result finding a rich husband what do you think about them i don't think i have like any friends with that find a rich husband mindset uh, i have a lot of friends that i met um, through the expat life and we kind of have like a similar mindset uh, a lot of the times they have like real good and high paying jobs as well uh, sometimes they even are the reason that the couple is uh, moving countries um, so that's not a, an issue amongst my friends um, so I have a lot of my female friends in like nice uh, important high paying jobs or they even create their own their own yes. companies their own business yeah so I think this, the mindset is pretty, is pretty similar, I, and I think that's why they, they are, um, they succeed in life and with their marriages because we all have like this it, work as a team mindset. That's yeah. great. Thank you very much. Enjoy your life. Good luck on your Thank career you. and life as well. <laughs> Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? Ryan, I'm from Brazil. Your age? 36. You? Juliana, I'm from Brazil, 29. That's great. What do you do for work? I am a lawyer in Brazil, but here I am working like uh, as a agent state, real agent state. state. Yes. Okay. That's good. You know what we found? Golden nugget. You? Me, um, I am a game presenter. So being in your position as a real estate agent, how much you can bring per year? Per year, maybe 15, 15K. 15,000 per yes, year? Yes, okay. more or less. Okay. How about you? 20,000 per year. Is that enough to live comfortably? Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, using my, my my money from Brazil as well, because I have office there, I can add all the things and stay comfortable here. Oh, that's nice. For how long you want to stay in Malta? Is uh, it like a permanent? Uh, yes, yes, maybe permanent. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Just God knows. <laughs> oh, you, you want to stay more? No, um, the same because uh, when you uh, we decided to stay here for study English, but I starting work here and maybe stay permanent. That's great. How do you invest your money? Being a lawyer, I think remote lawyer and also a real estate agent. I, I have my investments in Brazil. I I buy share uh, every month, and I have my office working there. I have three lawyers that work from me there mm -hmm. uh, so I use this way and here I just pay my 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 bills here the, the money I earn here I just pay my bills here how do you invest your money <laughs> in mine <laughs> just in, in mine <laughs> yes in stars <laughs> wow. so, but you don't have like uh, something assets or you are investing for digital assets or no, in Brazil. In Brazil. In Brazil, yeah. what type of investments? Is it? Um, in, in bank. Bank. Okay, bank. in bank. Yes. What do you mean investing in bank? 
cards. You can give your money to the bank, the bank use your money uh -huh. and pay a, a, a profit for you because they use this money. Ah, okay, okay. What do you think, like finding a job, which one is easier, from Brazil or in Malta? In Malta, sure. Mm -hmm. In Malta is more easier because here uh, there is a lot of people uh, when you meet and they invite you for mm -hmm. work. That's great. In your opinion? Depends on uh, the type of job. I think a uh, job like a waiter, like a uh, customer service, this type of work I think is easier. But in, for example, in my city, in Sao Paulo, uh, if you have a graduation university, you, you have a good chance to, to find a good job. Yes. As a real estate agent, what kind of uh, challenges you are facing in Malta because you are a foreigner, yeah. but if you are selling for local people or maybe your target is only for uh, foreigners or maybe, I don't know, you are working for rent or only for sale? For rent, mm -hmm. uh, but for me the most difficult thing is about uh, the, the way you use to attract people because in Brazil the people is more I don't know how can I use the word more more open or more here. Conservative? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Here are people uh, are, are a little more... Close-minded? Cl yes, close-minded or, or uh, closed. Uh, and for me it's different because in, in Brazil my type of clients is high-end. Here I, I work with all the type of clients. Mm -hmm. So... It's, it's different, the cultures, the, the ways to, to talk, so many things like that. It's so different for right. me. Do you have any friends, foreigners, expats living in Malta, they invested for property in Malta, not in their own country? Ah, okay, here I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know because uh, usually people I know here came here for, uh, to work, to study, or start a new life, mm -hmm. so I think it's, it's a little hard for you start to invest money here because first you need to own money, to win money, for after you invest. And usually people that I know is here, living here, these people is starting a new life in Europe, it's not easy because in Brazil our money is almost seven times lower than, than here, it's, it's real. Is, se is like uh, seven times lower right. than, than here, the euro. People from Brazil, if they want to come to Malta to live longer term here, what advice you would give to them to now? Uh, come here because here is, is like paradise. <laughs> wow. uh, uh, there is good jobs, there is uh, good positions here, and there is so much chances for you win money a lot and live one good life. Right. Thank you very much for sharing your advice. We appreciate it. Good luck. Your name, age, and where are you from? Uh, my name is Sophie. I'm 29 years old and I'm from Denmark. Okay. What do you do for a living? I work in iGaming as a customer support. Uh, in Malta? In Malta, yeah. For how long you are in that position? Uh, six months now, right. I think, yeah. Is that a profitable career? It's okay. Mm -hmm. We do okay. <laughs> you do okay. You're not happy at all. Yeah, I'm happy. I yeah. It's good. It's good for Malta. It's good. Oh, that's good. Being in your position, how much can we make per year? I think we make around thirty-five thousand. Forty. Forty-five. Yeah, around that. Okay. Thirty-five. Yeah. Uh, but when you say we, who you are? <laughs> uh, just the people working. Uh, no, I'm uh, specifically asking you directly. I think the, the Danish speaking oh, okay. uh, advisors. Yeah. Okay. Forty-five thousand in your twenty-nine year old. Yeah. Which is considered like a decent amount of money. Yeah. Yeah. How how do you invest your money? I don't. <laughs> I just save up for myself mostly. Saving for what? Uh, bad times <laughs> or travel. But why you save your money for bad times, not for good times? I also save them for good times, like I said, travel. But it's always good to have a little extra on mm -hmm. the side in case okay. something goes wrong and you need it. Do you own a property or you rent out? Uh, I rent apartments, right. yeah. Do you want to buy a property here? Uh, no. Why no? Because uh, I'm not planning on staying permanently. Uh -huh. I'm going to travel around the world, most likely, so mm -hmm. wouldn't really make sense. But 
does it make sense to buy in your own country? Not for me, because mm -hmm. I'm not going to be staying there anyways. <laughs> Even there, you don't want no, to stay? No, yet. no, no. Why you don't want to stay in Denmark? The weather. <laughs> it's very cold, very dark. How do you spend your money? Because you don't invest, you are just saving. Yeah, and travel, and food, enjoyment, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the good life, <laughs> I right. think. Let's say that you have enough saving. Where would you invest that money? Would you be interested to invest in, in property or stock? shares or ETF or any businesses? Mm, no, like if maybe I could educate myself a little more on the subject then, then I would, but mm. I don't know anything about it. So, oh, yeah. What is important for starting finding a job like you? No, I would say you have to have excellent skills in, in writing, like be good with... Like, in writing? Yeah, like you have to be perfect in writing, like uh -huh. you cannot have misspells. So. Oh, yeah. Bad vocabulary, mm -hmm. like you have to be professional and you also have to be very polite. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, in your 29 year, what have you achieved? You think that this is the best achievement I have? For me, it's probably just packing up everything uh, I knew and traveled all by myself to Malta just to, mm -hmm. to start over. Yeah, That's great. it was a dream of mine to try and live abroad. And here we are. <laughs> well, nice, and thank you very much. Thank Good luck you. on your life. You too. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yo, that's it, basically, guys. I'm definitely sure you enjoyed with this episode. Don't forget, today's video sponsor is you, as always, and also Valex Property. I'm going to list all my properties on this channel. Follow to see how crazy are they and making such interesting way of showing the properties. If you want to buy your own property, a first one, second one, or a hundred, thousand one, I don't know. Just contact with me. I will help you out to make this process smooth. So hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.